What's going on guys, Magdown here with another video. This will be the third in a trilogy of videos that I'm hoping will help you have a strong league start in the 3.21 Crucible launch on Friday. In the first video, we went over some general advice on how to have a strong league start. In the second video, I covered five of what I think are the most interesting and cool build guides that have come out from the community so far. And in this video, I want to talk about five of the add-ons that I use, the tools that I use to smooth out my Path of Exile experience. Now, some of these might not be you know, brand new. They might not be new news to veteran players of the game, but I know I have a lot of folks that watch the channel that are relatively new to the game. And so I want to make sure that you guys are aware of these and that you know some of the functionalities that they have. So the first one I want to talk about is PoE Lurker. Here is the GitHub page. You'll just scroll down here and grab a download. And the nice thing about this add-on is whenever you get a trade message, it'll pop up down here with a little icon that'll show you how much the trade is for and you can hover over it, it'll give you some additional information. And then there is some functionality, some hotkeys that you can control click it, etc. that will allow you to tell them to hang on a second or invite them to the party. And it ends up just kind of smoothing out the trade experience altogether. And so you'll want to grab that if you are somebody that likes to smooth out your trading experience. The second tool I want to talk about is Awaken PoE Trade. Again, here is the GitHub page. You'll just come on down here and grab a download. And the nice thing about this add-on is you can really easily control Alt D on anything and check the price of it. And then with Shift Spacebar, you can open up the panel here. And there's a few things I wanna go over. So the first thing is this little thing here, you can choose a file. And then when you're in game, you just again, push Shift and Spacebar and then you hover over this and whatever image you put here, will blow up in the middle of the screen. And so if you remember from the advice video I did earlier this week, you can, for example, take your leveling checklist and make a JPEG file or whatever and throw that in here. And then you don't even have to tab out to look at that stuff. I remember using this quite a bit in the Arch Nemesis League to have the recipes that you needed for that league mechanic. And this is not useful all the time, but it is something that I will occasionally use. And then if we come into the settings page here, you can go down to maps and you can find all of the map mods that can roll on maps. And then you can choose how to highlight them. And then let's come over here. And here I've just got a bunch of rolled maps. And so then if we Alt C, it'll pop up this little page, shows you the boss. You can hover over that and it blows up the image. And then as you can see here, this is a map that's got some kind of nasty mods. And if you want to change one around, for example, you just click here. You can make it orange or green, or you can just ignore it, or you can have it red as I do for this particular mod. And there's a lot more stuff you can do with this, but I think those are probably the most important functionalities that I use on a routine basis. All right, the third thing I want to talk about is the TFT bulk selling tool. This is just a web address that you go to. I will link it in the description below. And you can do a lot of stuff with this. You can sell tons of different things. But the things that I like to use it for are essences, invitations, and delirium orbs. I find that those are things I do not like to try and sell individually. I don't like to mess around with trying to figure out the pricing and all of that. So I just use this tool. Then you go on the TFT Discord server, and it makes it really easy. All you're going to do is when you actually have a character, when you're logged in, It'll give you a list of all your tabs. You're going to select a tab, and then you're going to come over here and select, for example, Essences. And then you're going to come in here, and you can decide how much of a percentage of the PoE Ninja price you want to charge. I like to start at at least 110%. And then you just select there, and it'll give you a readout down here. And then you want to type in your in-game name if it doesn't automatically appear. Then you're going to generate the text and generate an image and you can paste those into the TFT Discord server in the appropriate listing channel. And then you can just easily throw up your, I wanna sell all of this stuff post. And I have found that people get back to you, especially in the first month or two of the league. It's really fast, really easy, saves a bunch of time. Essentially, like I said, for those three things, for essences, invitations, and delirium orbs, I use it every time I'm gonna sell those things. All right, the next thing I want to talk about is Filter Blade. And most people are probably already using this, but in the off chance that you're not, you just go to the main page, you can log in with your PoE account. And then for the beginning of a league, normally I would use the regular variant. 
of the you know standard never sync filter and then you can just save and export over here but you can also go in and customize which is what i end up doing every week and what i like to do is add custom sounds so if we come in here to general currency i might come down here and this has got my Eldritch Orb of Annulment, Eldritch Chaos Orb, Exalted Orbs, etc. And you can change the sound. So the way that you do that is you would come over here to where it says Normal. And you would select Custom. And then you need to have an MP3 file that has the exact title typed in here. So for example, if you just wanted to call it, you know, Fun Sound 1, you would type in exactly that file name into here. And then you need to have that exact file in the same folder that you have all of your filters in for Path of Exile. And then when something from this list drops in game, you'll get your fun custom sound. And I do this every league. It's a lot of fun. You can obviously, you know, get cool sounds from YouTube or there's an infinite number of, you know, soundboard style websites online you can find that have, you know, tons of different sounds that you can make the loot filter work a little bit better for you. I have actually found over the course of the last um, year and a half or so that I've been doing this that it is nice to have your own sounds, particularly for high value items, because it just it works better for my brain. If I know that when a specific sound triggers that I've got, you know, a divine orb or an exalted orb, whatever, then it's just easier for me than the bass sounds. And then obviously, if you're streaming, it's nice to have a different set of sounds than what any players have that are watching you so that when you're dropping something they don't think that they're dropping something etc and then the last thing that i want to go over is the better trading chrome extension and this is the most recent addition to the suite of tools that i use every week and this thing is awesome so you can save different searches and name them yourself so you can see i've got a huge list of all kinds of stupid stuff that i have accumulated over the last couple weeks then you can also pin specific items and it'll actually give you a history over here of all the searches that you've done. And so I don't know if it's going to work right now because we're sort of between leagues. But for example, if I want a delirium compass, oh, it does work. Okay, good. You just click it, it'll bring it up. Then you can go through here and buy them. A lot of this stuff you can buy in bulk on TFT, but if you are using the trade website, particularly for, you know, really specific items, you can see I've got a plus two, plus two scepter here. I've got shields with certain mods on it, stuff like that, that early league, I'm looking for really specific stuff, tornado shot, bow upgrades, stuff like that. This is a really handy tool for doing all of that. And like I said, this is just a Chrome extension, so you just throw into Google, better trading add-on, and you'll be able to find that really easy. And that is about all I've got for you guys today. Those are the five tools that I use the most every league, and I hope that you found something interesting or useful that you can add to your toolkit in the upcoming Crucible League. If you enjoyed this content, please do give me a like and subscribe, and I hope to see you in the next video. I appreciate you.